so in this section we are going to display the user information so once we land on the home page we are going to show the user name along with the user profile image okay and after that we will also add this search uh, box okay so right now uh, let's go back to our your uh, vs code and here uh, i will open my app as well so right now i will remove this button okay so because i don't want it anymore here okay so i will remove it and save it so after that uh, let's add a new one component okay so we keep this header and search by in different different component okay so create a new folder in the app so go to the app and just add new folder called components and inside this component i will create one file called welcome header dot js okay or a home, you can add the home header whatever you name want to give the name you can give and add the default template so react native function and enter right so it will add the welcome header make sure you will import that one in a home dot js right because we want to show this uh, header at in the home page right so i save it once i save it you will see this home welcome header name because that is written in the text right the welcome header now i will remove oh i will keep as it is because we want to show hello over here first and then we want to show the um, the name of the user right so here what you have to do uh, as i told you right we are using the context right and that context uh, we can use it here right because that it is a nested in a home and then in a again in welcome header right so what we can do just add that one so constant curly braces user data comma set user data okay and is equal to use context and make sure you will import that one and I'll, and the which context do you want to use so in this case it's auth context okay so we, we able to, uh, we successfully added the context now we have the user information in the user data right so what you have to do you just simply type it here okay and uh, access the username here so in this case it's a user data i will add this question mark because optionally if it's not there then it will not give us any error and save it now if it's see right the it's showing the gameplay because that is the uh, user name okay i will wrap this in one view okay because we want to show the uh, image as well and the right hand side right so in order to add the flakes and everything i added this in a view so let me structure it beautifully okay and then i will add the image so just add the image so in this case we have to add image using the react native image library and in the sorry the image tag and here we'll do the source so in this case right we want to show the data or, or show the image within the url and which which is not in the our local right in the local we use a uh, require function to access the local image but in this case we have to show the image from the url so i have to write like this and then you have to write uri uri right so uri and then you can give the url okay so in this case the url is the user data because we have uh, image in the user data right and inside that we have picture property so picture which show the user okay image so right now obviously it will not showing in the screen because we did not provide any height or width right so i will give the inline styling here so just write style okay and in double curly i will give the width of 14 and the height of 14 okay and we can give the border radius we want the circular right so i give the 100 and if you see i am able to get the profile picture of the login user right now uh, we want to use some styling so it will come uh, horizontally right so here uh, to this 
of due right the parent due use inline styling and i will write display to be flex or let's let's give the external styling so what i will do i will create a template here so i'll just write react native style sheet right and make sure you will import this style sheet okay so import that one you do in the react native and just write it here container the name the class name and inside that i will write display to be flex and the flex direction i want a row okay that's all so flex need to be in the quote actually it's a string and apply that style to this parent view so just access it using st styles dot the container okay and save everything if once i save it came in a uh, one line right now give some gap between that so i will write justify content to be in center okay and save it also oh sorry so not just by in center we want to just uh, space between you want the space between two so i write space between and also i will um, make sure that it vertically it's center okay. so i'll just write i'll have item to be in the center okay perfect now we want to give some gap okay so if you see our prototype throughout the application we have the gap all right so let's give some um, padding to the, our application so what you have to do um go to the page screen right and here what we'll do we'll add the padding so let's just i will give the inline styling and here i will write a padding of 20 and save it and that's all right it's it came perfectly fine uh now if you see our prototype right uh the rahul son of the name the username is little bit um the font is uh bold okay so let's give some font uh, some styling to this username so i will give inline styling here okay so style in double quote you can give the font size to be 20 and of font to weight i will give bold okay and as soon as i save it you will see the change perfect okay so let me give a comma here that's all so when a user login right it will jump on to this page right and then it will show you the user profile name and the name of the user okay now let's add the search bar if you see our prototype we have this search bar um, below this welcome header right so let's first create the component so let's go back in the component folder and i will create a new component called search bar bar dot js okay then add the default template react native function so it will add us a default template and i will remove this particular text okay and make sure you will import that in a home.js after welcome header so let's add the search bar here okay and make sure you import that one as well then let's go back here and first of all we will add the icon so let's go to uh, this icon.expo.fy uh, which we learned last time how to be how to add this uh, icons right and let's copy this import statement okay and paste it in the search bar and uh, and then copy this uh, icon and paste it here okay so here uh, we want to change this color right if you save this and if you see right we got this black icon so i will change this color uh, so in the color dot js i added the a uh, gray color okay so let's go back to our uh, search bar and here i will change this color and let's access the color from the color uh, folder so colors dot and the gray okay so that uh, we want to add the input right to uh, so that user can type it so in order to add the input uh, react native uh, include this text input property okay so add this text input and make sure you import this text input as well so if you see the text input is imported from the react native okay 
and close this one i will add the placeholder as well so add the placeholder i will say search okay and if i save it you will this you will see this search um, placeholder right which is our input now we want everything in one line so what i will do i will give some uh, styling to this one so let's add a style and i will write the style here because we have a lot of style which we want to use so i will write it here uh, so i will add this template make sure you will import the style sheet and then add the style so i will say container and inside this i will write the style so let's say display i think we did not add it this one let's add a okay now it's added right so display and we want it to be a flex and then flex direction we'll add it as a row okay perfect and let's apply this style here because we did not apply that's the reason we got the error but we let's apply the style styles dot container and if i save it you will see the change okay now i will change this background to white right so let's add the background color and uh, the code for white is just fff and save it now let's do some padding so i will do padding of uh, 10 okay, and save it also give the rounded corner so rounded border radius I, I mean to say so let's add the border radius and it's to be a 10 okay and uh, in order to give some um, box shadow effect right if we have a property called elevation and just add the elevation so in this case i will add the elevation value to be 2 okay and let's give some margin from the top so let's say margin top let's margin top to be 10 okay and save it and everything is look good right only thing that uh, we want to add is just add the align item to be in center so it will come vertically in uh, to be center align item to be center perfect now what i will do i will do some margin between this uh, search icon, um, uh, placeholder and this icon so let's give some inline styling to this ion icon and uh, just write uh, in the double quote margin right with 10 and save it and if you see everything works perfectly okay so i hope you understand this particular section that um, adding this welcome header and uh, we also add this uh, search bar as well and for that we create a different different component now the thing is right we can use this particular components anywhere throughout the application right you just need to import this particular statement for example let's add the welcome header after the search bar right you don't need to do anything once you add that right you will see this like this perfect right this is what we wanted so i will remove that and save it okay in the next section we will um install the stripey okay so and then we will create the api from that one we will add the content into that one so in next section we'll completely uh, focus on the stripey and how to set up the stripey okay so see you in the next section